All right, today I'm going to be talking to you about the same splint and how to use it to properly splint a broken arm, either on yourself or someone you're with. The great thing about these, uh, they're made by North American Rescue and Sam Medical together. They, uh, they're lightweight. They're, they look kind of flimsy right now, but their strength comes whenever you start to curb it. And that's how it really will support a broken arm. That's not really going to move anywhere. And uh, they also are radiolucent, with just a fancy word for being able to take an x-ray through it. So suppose you're out hiking or trying to evacuate somewhere and you fall down and brace yourself on your hands and end up breaking your arm. This is called the sugar tongue splint. And another nice thing about this is that it's made for the military in mind, so it's dummy proofed with the directions right on top of it. For the sugar tongue splint, you just fold down a portion a couple inches down for your hand to rest on and start forming the curve. And then you put your broken arm in there and form the rest of the way. And if you're doing this for somebody else, you want to do it on your own arm first to get the formation basic of it. That way you won't hurt them in the process. Then take whatever you have, either tape or uh, some sort of adhesive wrap or bandage, and then just secure the splint in place. Now that arm is going to be secured and for even added protection from furthering injuring yourself you can use a cravat or it's also called a triangular bandage. Tie the two ends together. What you're going to do here is just make a sling for yourself. Put it around your head. put your arm through. This way as you're traveling to get to the closest hospital or wherever your next location is, you're not going to move as much and possibly injure yourself further. 